Hi there, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm a few minutes early, just waiting on Sarah Schroeder Matskin to join me, my dear friend. And I'm sure she'll be coming on shortly. Hey. Thanks all for joining. James and Derek. Cool, thank you, thank you. All I need is Sarah. <laughs> That's a detail, isn't it? Um, anyway, let me see if I can text her. Oh, <laughs> she's saying what's not working. Hang on here. Hi, sorry. All right, we're getting going here. It's just, just the detail. Invite people, hang on. Sarah. Okay. So I hope everybody has a good day. I am sitting here in lovely Florida and it's getting hot. It's starting to be hot and humid as it always is. And you got, <laughs> thanks cat. You're so sweet. <laughs> I loved doing a live with you the other day. That was so fun. You taught me about the bubble. And um, yeah, the little question bubble, which I'm hoping you guys will use tonight. So there's a little bubble at the bottom and you guys have to ask questions. And that's what we're doing. So yeah, we're going to talk with Sarah about she's the executive producer of <laughs> Chris Lindsay says, what are you doing outside of your clubhouse box with a face that moves? <laughs> and he likes my backyard. Oh my God, Sarah's unable to join. Ugh, how does that happen? That doesn't make any sense. All right, hang on people, don't go away. didn't <laughs> and that was a bad move here hang on okay I'm going to invite her again and hopefully <laughs> all right so you guys are thinking of all your questions you have for Sarah let me tell you more about her she's executive producer of the trial of Chicago 7 one of many um She's, she, Sarah, is the star of the movie I have, Going to Can. Um, she has a movie, Going to Can. We've worked on it together. I did the casting. She did the producing, and she starred in it, and she was fantastic. And, you know, I hope you guys can watch it. And we're waiting for Sarah to join. Ha, 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 ha. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> Chris tells me my hair looks fine. I have a, you know, there's a problem when you're looking at yourself. It's like you're going to, uh, she says she didn't get an That's crazy. So wait. Oh, I can bring I can bring Kat on because <laughs> she's here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is so funny. Let's see what else. What else you guys saying? Uh so excited. I'm glad you guys are excited. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry we're having the technical difficulties. But that is the life 
outside of the clubhouse box. And there is plenty of technical difficulties in the clubhouse box. I was bullied today in clubhouse. I just want to share that with you guys. It was terrible. I didn't like it. So, so stay out of the bully pool and help you guys get rid of my bullies for me. I have a bug here too. What are you guys drinking? Tell me in the chat. I'm drinking, some, it's rosé with rose, right? But I'm drinking red wine. So there's that. I swear I'm going to have to stop and figure out how to get her in. Um, if I stop, you guys will come right back on. I know you will. She says she can't see me because <laughs> she doesn't know where to go for the live. All right. I am going to. All right, let's see. What do we have? Um, you guys have any questions for me? Because I'll answer. Sure thing. <laughs> Still on coffee. Really? Okay, so Sarah can see me. So, but where is she? Can you hear me, Sarah? Go into the chat for a second so I can, I can invite you in. Let's see. Sarah. See if she'll send requests. Maybe she'll come on. What do you guys think? Are you giving it a 50 <laughs> 50? Hi, Francine. Francine Lewis is a really fun comic from the, from the UK. I'm crazy about her. We had a nice chat the other day. She was delightful. I think she wants to grow up and be an actress. I don't know why I would stick with comedy, but that's just me. Oh, she declined. So those of you betting that, <laughs> oh my God, I'm fine. How are you, Francine? Ah, oh, sweet. That's so sweet. Look, it's gonna happen. Wait, so it's only 6.01, so I was smart to do this early, but Sarah's coming on, and it's Yay. a great time. <laughs> there she is, my friend Sarah, Sarah <sighs> Maskin. Everybody, welcome. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> you know, I'm technically challenged with this uh, Instagram stuff, so anyway. I, I, hi. Hi. How are you? I hate the half face. It's like, what do you do with that? You did really well. I like the not alone um, poster you have behind you, your Thank film you. and can that we cast together. I feel like <laughs> there. That's even better. Less pillow. <laughs> oh my god, so funny! I want everybody to know there's the question bubble. So see the little question thing on the bottom. Put your questions in there, and I'll make sure I see them. Hey Zach. So hi. You hi, look. Sweetheart. You're outside. It looks beautiful. You know, I've renovated. We talked about that, though. Yeah. What are you drinking? It's delightful back here. I have a waterfall that I'm not running because it's loud. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't do that. I'm just having a little Chardonnay. Cheers, baby. I got a little red wine. Cheers, Cheers. to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. You have huge, huge stuff coming you have to out. Drink, you have to drink roses. It's bad luck. Oh, I'm all in. <laughs> Me too, sunshine. Oh, my God. So let's talk about you a moment. Then we can talk about me if you want my hair. You're, what do you think? No. <laughs> no, no, no. So Oscars are coming up. You were executive, one of the executive producers, along with 
others and your lovely husband, Steve Matskin, yes. um, for the trial of the Chicago 7. Personally, I think it's going to take it all, but that's just my feeling. Outside of you <laughs> and our friendship, I really, I mean, it's, I mean, it's had quite a ride, let's say that. <laughs> and I mean, you know, so, so that. And let me just get it all out, and then we'll discuss pieces of it. As, uh, uh, 20 minutes later, I'll be done. Um, and then, Take your time. <laughs> and then, okay, so if that's not enough, that. And then you have Not Alone, the film we worked on. Somehow, what, what an amazing journey that has had. And now it's, it's a, what is it? It's a prefer, it's a. It's a finalist. 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 Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get that right. I'm like, what was it? It's a finalist at can. And I'm so excited. And the music. You did yes. this beautiful music video. That's also a finalist. I mean, <laughs> are you pinching yourself or what's happening here? What's I, going I, on? I have to say I am pinching myself. I've been very blessed the last few months and after the year everybody's had, you know, I'm, I'm staying in the light and I'm so happy. And, you know, right? I have to give Steve credit for going back to the trial of the Chicago seven. Um, we had done three movies and so we, we were, our plate was pretty full and he came to me and he said, we need to do this script. And I was like, Oh my gosh, another movie. <laughs> then I read the script and Aaron's writing just spoke to me. And I was, I mean, yeah. it's riveting. And plus, it's based on a true story. So, you know, I'm always in love with those type, as you are, too. We've discussed yeah. this in the past. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, we're up for six Oscars. So, knock on wood, and let's see what happens Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's such a strange year. You would normally be there in person, of course. Yeah. And so, here you are, you know. What are you going to do? Let's talk about that. Well, actually, I'm having a little gathering here. Everybody's either getting tested or been vaccinated and still going to test. Um, but we are having some of our closest friends come over. And, yeah, we're just going to have a little party. So around 10 of us, and it'll be good. Not a lot of we, friends. we debated kids. whether we wanted to go in and if we could go in. And right. it's very up in the air who's going. And then they're going to put it in two different venues. So anyway, we just said, you know what, we're in Florida. We're good. We're going to stay. And uh, and we've been to the Academy Awards with my lovely Jenna Rollins. Um, I know. My second mom. And Steve and I were lucky enough to go with her when she won her Lifetime Achievement Award. So, I don't know. When you go like that, you just, you know, I'm okay. I'll watch it at home. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, everybody is. I yeah. think it's a new era of you do what you want. You, you know, there are going to be more in-person things, but... I think I think a lot of this um, remote doing. Th I love the Ardios this year. They were all remote. I thought it was a fantastic show, and I did it in my pajamas. It was delightful. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, mean I think that it is. The whole industry is changing. It's going to, and even Steve and I, we've been doing Zoom like everybody else. But it saves so much time. You don't have to drive. You don't have to pay from a business perspective. Right. The timing and also the money you save for not having. I don't want to offend anybody that owns commercial property, but not having big <laughs> buildings that you've got leased out for the month. Right. So anyway, switching back to can. Oh yeah. my gosh. That was like, what? <laughs> I, I submitted it and we've been getting some quite a bit of action on it because we've kind of held on to it because when we were ready COVID. to go out, we had COVID and blah, blah, blah. We've re-edited it, and it's it's at the best shape of its life. And I saw Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, I miss Megan. you. I hope you're on. She was my daughter in the film, and amazing. She, she was great. great. She was so good. And actually, speaking of casting, who you cast an amazing group of people, um, but we were there together when Megan came in, and Rose and I were like, oh, she's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then, and then I loved as, as you know, you remember the one, because we did this and you guys should know this. We did this two years ago, right? About two. Yeah. And, and, a little, um, little less, but yeah. A little less, but roughly speaking, well before the pandemic, but we did it all 
all remotely, all via Zoom and and um, virtual casting. So, you know, as I've said many times, I've done this, you know, I've been there. So, <laughs> But at the end, at the end, remember, Rose, we did we meet had the finalists in person. Kids. Yeah. Just the kids. Yeah, Just yeah, kids. yeah. Because, yeah, because yeah, we, I mean, we cast Pat Healy. What, he needs an audition? No. And <laughs> he did not. And Richard Lawson? Nope, he nope. did not. <laughs> and they were great. They were great, of course. They were great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, what a great cast. And um, yeah, Pat was Pat was also a joy to have on set. And of course, Richard was amazing. Everybody was amazing on set. But Pat is really a cinephile, and he knows a lot about movies, right? a lot about the movie business. He's, yeah, he's quite impressive. I mean, and he's directed himself, so. He was just really good to be on set. I'm sure Megan would agree. And then Richard was awesome because we'd run lines together. And and remember, though, Rose, you and I were kind of going, we had a tight window on p casting Dr. Oh, my Clay. God. Oh, my God. That was that was crazy. I kept saying, uh, we got to do this. No, we got another week. It'll be OK. We're waiting on this, you know, because, you know, everything is legal, right? I'm giving offers out right. and I can't. I can't give two offers out for the same part at the same time, but we were on such a tight schedule. It was, it was mind blowing. <laughs> it was, it was mind blowing. And you know, I have to thank, we have to thank Melissa Hayden, who oh, yeah. knew Richard. Yeah. And yeah. she said, you know, I think Richard would play this yeah. part. And then you called his agent and your, the agent fell in love with you. And uh, he did. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, and Richard, Loved the script, and that's the end of it. And yeah. He showed up. He actually left Beyonce and Jay Z's concert in Paris. Yes, he, he did. He does remember that. I and do. And Tina flew in and, and was on set, and yeah. yeah, and he was so good. Added a lot. So to the movie. Oh my God, he was amazing. Okay. Even better than expected, if that's possible. Uh, if agreed. that's possible. Yeah, yeah. I was I was expecting a lot, and then there was. There was just so much more. I mean, wow. His scenes in the van. I don't want to give up too much, but I'm certainly not doing that by talking about scenes in a van. But just <laughs> his he was he was he's a powerful actor. He really is. Now I want you guys to use the little question bubble to send me some questions. Don't be shy. Sarah yeah, don't be shy. I will don't answer. be shy. I will answer yeah, you most guys are just, anything. Yeah, probably. Probably she'll oh. answer almost anything. Oh, look, here's one. Here's one. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, my, my niece is on. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, my God, that's adorable. All right, what is a quality you most appreciate in artists you are looking to work with? You answer that. What do you think? I want happy artists, people that are nice to be around, but uh -huh. also know when to... When you're getting ready for a scene, depending on what kind of scene, you might need to really lock it in and get ready. So you got to be respectful, but then also have fun. Um, and especially with not alone, I had a lot of hats I was wearing. So I'm, I was doing three or four different things, producing, acting. So I, for me, I didn't like, I would go and go away for a little while because we also were filming it at our home at the time which so 17 hours a day so oh my god to answer your question i would say just be happy and respectful and you know I, I think that's in life anybody should be happy and respectful or kind but yeah just respect people's space when they're on set and and don't be a pain in the butt <laughs> yeah no exactly and i have literally the same answer you know like follow directions don't be a pain in the butt like do what we ask and you know, just be, you know, yeah, when the actors are kind of in your face on set and you're trying to work, and that's, that's a rough scene. So we didn't have any of that on that movie, but just in general. No. I so see questions. Oh, okay, of more questions. Yeah, now I'm here. Okay. Uh, how do you balance a busy work and home life in film? Well, do you want to answer or do you want to answer? Do you want you me answer. To? <laughs> well, filming is, it is busy, um, but there's different facets. So when you're on set, you really don't have any home life. But, I mean, luckily that one was on 
at our home, but I still didn't have a home life. I mean, I was sleeping oh, hardly at all. And so you, but you're lucky you shoot for a certain amount of days and you're all right. in and you're busy, 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 and you might have 17 hour days. And then you come off and you're so high. I remembered I was so high. And honestly, it's almost like a letdown. You go back and you're like, oh, right. I'm not busy, busy, busy. But, and then you've got the editing and you've got all the other parts that come together and, and then you hopefully go on to your next project. So the good news about the film industry is it stops. It has a starting point and a starting right. point. And then you move on to something else. So it's always exciting. You're not just, you know, bored. You're always moving in different directions. So, but you all, also, for me, I work with my husband, so I'm lucky he's my partner. So we don't have a lot of away time either because we're usually partners in the project. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Now, I would say same. When, it, when we're on, we're on. And when we're off, we're off. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about diversity initiatives? And are you seeking an increase in Manasa representation? Your turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let I you mean, answer that. I, no, that's fine. I'll take it. Of course. We are, we are seeing an increase in every diversity we try. And I know, Sarah, you do with, with, with even crewing a project. We try hard. We, we are sensitive to it. No question. And, and every project, without fail, asks for more and more diversity. Manasa included 100% of the time. Thank you for that question. Yes. Uh, and, and our movie is very diverse. Oh, yeah. yeah no kidding. Very diverse. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How and where did you start your career in this industry? You want me to go or you go? You go. Me. Um, <laughs> I, I started um, with a movie called Man in a Chair. Um, I owned a finance company. Well, first of all, let's back up. I wanted to be an actor when I was young, very young. And I always grew up singing. My dad would drop us off and we would be like the entertainment at the retirement home. So I always grew up wanting to be in the entertainment business. So that's a, sh a side note. And then my brother who was in it told me, oh, the average actor makes $2,000 a year. So good luck with that. And <laughs> I was like, yeah. So I went off and did something else. And it was the finance business. But then after I got in the finance business, I decided, well, I know how to, I can run a business pretty well, so now I'm gonna raise money for film. And I decided to get involved with a, a picture called Man in the Chair, the, who starred the late Christopher Plummer, which, what a doll, he is amazing. Um, and I also played a little role in that movie and across from Christopher Plummer. And I remember he said, you know, my goodness, why didn't you have more lines? You know, <laughs> his accent is a little Canadian. And anyway, so I, I was hooked after that, but, but because I had the background of the finance business, that helped me. So I raised all the money for that film, and I was living in Idaho, getting ready to move to California. And after that, I was like, I'm moving. So, and I moved. That was it. I, I love that story. <laughs> no, I do. I do. How did uh, you get into that? it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they all... Uh, the, the, the 20 people watching all know, but I, I was started out as a fashion editor at a college. And, and so in that, I kind of did everything, casting, styling, makeup, hair, locations, you, and I wrote the story and, and then I moved quick. Yeah, it was, you know, so I learned everything and mm -hmm. then I moved quickly into advertising and did a very good business in St. Louis for many years. And then I married a guy that lived in Tampa. So I moved down here and I thought, oh, I could just, you know, start up again. They didn't get me. They did not get me here. No. Nope. And I was Shocker. sitting in a, I know. <laughs> I, know right? I was sitting in a talent agent's office, a friend of mine, and we were just shooting it. And she's like, you should be a casting director. <laughs> <laughs> she she literally said, you'll love this, she said, oh, there's a mean one here. You wouldn't be so mean. And so maybe that's good. And I quickly, like, 
researched it, called a bunch of casting directors in New York, asked them how they do it. They told me. They gave me my first job. And within six months, I had Edward Scissorhands. And the rest is history. Isn't that funny? Well, I knew part of that. So that's great. I didn't know a lot of the background. But I did know you came to Tampa just like me for our right? husbands. <laughs> <laughs> Mail order bride. Mail order bride, right. Yeah. I mean, they got a good got, one. They got us good ones. They got good ones. They, they yeah, good yeah, ones. yeah. Quite a few years later. All right. Another question. <laughs> what inspired you to take the leap from one side of the camera to the other? That's to you. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of to me. I, I never have really been, well, I guess business side is behind the camera, but most of the films I've been in, I've had little parts or, or a part. So um, I kind of felt like I've been, was behind and always wanted to be in front. It just takes longer to get in front of the camera. As we know, as struggling actors, it takes a lot of time to be able to get in front so of the camera or a lot of luck. So with me, um, after I did this, these few movies and then I got going, um, I was, I, <laughs> I, you got to kind of do your own projects. That's what I kind of think. So right. we decided to do this project called Not Alone. At the time, it was not called Not Alone. And the, the writer-directors wrote me in the lead. And I was shocked because I didn't tell them to write me in the lead. Right. And they wrote me in the lead. And I'm like, well, what do you, you think that you want? And he's like, they go, Sarah, we know you're going to be all in. And we want someone all in. And yeah, so I was happy that they did that. That was a very sweet, kind, I, I felt blessed that they decided and picked me. So I was lucky. So that helped me get in, in front of the camera. <laughs> and no, then singing, exactly. Yeah, you it were really great. did. You were great. And then um, on the singing front, I've always sang. And then with, during COVID, we recorded three, well, the year before we recorded one, and the end credits of the song. It's called Look to the Stars. And uh, that I really and that's a do. finalist that can. I just want to remind yes, people. Yes, it's and on say YouTube it. if anybody wants yeah. to watch it. It's under yeah. Sarah Schroeder, um, and and uh, the trailer for the movies on there too. But so and it's I think it's on your screen. Wait, right? I was gonna say we just did our YouTube that went live a chat with you, me, and Kim Swanson, and I did drop all the links in the description on our YouTube. So everybody needs to go over and watch 15 minutes of me chatting with Sarah Moore because it's a full evening. Continue. <laughs> it was really fun with you and her. I had a great time. I'm having just as much fun with you now. But um, yeah, so we ended up, and then I, I filmed uh, in California, we filmed two of the music videos, one called Look to the Stars, which is in the movie, and one called Betrayal. And actually, both of those got into the International Music Awards. So we, I, I, I've had, I feel, I'm pinching, I'm happy. Pinching, right? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I'm feeling um, very happy. So. Well deserved. Well deserved. You're such a hard worker. I, I, I can't remember a harder worker than you, honestly. Honestly. All right. Let me see. No, but it's true. Because, I mean, literally, we would talk every day about where are we going with the cast. And you should also know, I had to get people speaking Haitian. <laughs> That's right. You were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, Don't even... <laughs> And it was a small budget. What was, you know, a smaller budget movie for sure. <laughs> Not a big budget film like uh, Chicago 7. So, yeah. Uh, how can someone audition for me? Have your, uh, I put out breakdowns to talent agents and they, they send their talent in. So have your talent agent, make sure they're on my list. But thank you for the question, Vivian. Okay. And let me see. There's more. There's more here. I'm trying to figure out this little question bubble. It's a different thing. All right. I know they're right in my, my, I don't know if you can see, but they're like in my face. So I can't really see. I'm, I'm trying to see. Okay. I, go. No, I get the fact that you can't see yourself probably just as well. Okay. You look beautiful to me. What's it's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to read the questions. Like, <laughs> Let me do it. Where did you go, both go to college and what did you study? That's you. Okay. I went to Northwestern. <laughs> I studied <laughs> finance. And uh, no, Northwest Nazarene School. I don't want to think Northwestern Chicago. My <laughs> husband went to Northwestern. So I actually was supposed to go to Boise State University. I was an Idaho girl. 
And I ended up going, getting in a car wreck. I had a full ride scholarship for basketball. I ended up getting in a car wreck. So I played at a smaller school that was a smaller school, but much more expensive to go to. And they gave me a full ride. And wow. so, yeah, I was dating a, a player who cares about him. He's in the past, but <laughs> I don't mean that. He, he's, he's a super guy. He's a great guy, but he's, he's, he's right in the here. past. <laughs> He's in the past, but he was, he, was, he was the reason I went to Northwestern, Northwest Nazarene. I always say Northwestern because of my husband, but Northwest Nazarene because he was, he was at Boise State. So I wanted to be close, and I also wanted to be close to my family. So it was about an hour away from where I grew up. So what was the question again? Like, oh, what I did. Where'd you I, go? I graduated you study? in finance. Finance. Yep. Perfect. I went to Webster University, graduated with a communications uh, mass comm degree, something like that. Thanks for the question. Let's see what else we got. Here, hang on. All right. And here, uh, Sammy Smiles. Oh, my God. Wait, let me just tell you about Sammy. He <laughs> did my little background on Clubhouse. He had this great, do you see his color on his background or do you not see that? It's like, the, like it's kind of hot pink, right? Right? It's just a perfect shade. And so I sent him my picture to do, give me that background, and he did it for me graciously. Thank you, Sammy. Now I'll ask your question. <laughs> what is the best advice you have receiving being in this industry? Wait, what is the best advice you have received? received. That's a different word than receiving, being in this industry. What's the best well, advice you've received? I bet Jenna gave you some pearls. Oh, yes. Um, so I'll answer this. My best advice and the best advice I've ever received was from Jenna, actually, and Melissa, too. She, they both just say, be yourself, be natural, don't, don't try too hard, and don't ever listen to a no. Someone's going to tell you no that. every day of your life, in this industry, in that industry, in Work, if you're working at a grocery store, someone's going to be saying no. But I, I just don't believe in no. I don't believe in I can't. That's just not in my vocabulary. So that's what I would say. I feel like that's the best advice I've gotten, just listening to that. Um, what, I, what I have to bring is live each day to your last. And that's more of a living advice. But in the business, be authentic and, and follow through on your promises those two things oh for um, sure i mean yeah, no yeah. Kidding, right? don't be a flake there's a lot of yeah. them. <laughs> do what you do what you say okay show thanks, up. sammy show up that's half of it all right what do we got here um what's your favorite part of your job what happened on your favorite um day at work for producing or casting hmm. wow I can go, go on that one. You, you go. You go. Okay. Um, I would say my favorite part is spreading the sparkle, you know, telling people they have the job, giving that, you know, just, I mean, it makes their day. They're just so happy. It's just so fun. And what happened on my favorite day at work? I mean, I, I, had, I had a nice meeting with Alan Arkin. <laughs> oh, I love that. That was a favorite day, honestly. He called me into his trailer to talk talent, and, and we had a lovely time. And, and, and what a, you know, he's, you know, he was great. He's amazing. He's he is. He is. Um, you? For me, I would say every day on set for me is a favorite day. I can't pick one. I mean, I've worked with Jenna. I've worked with. I've worked with so many great people, Richard, Pat, you know, I couldn't, right. I couldn't pick one day. Megan? But, um, favorite, like one of my favorite, <laughs> you get it. When I'm on set, I'm like electrified. It's yeah. funny because my Steve, my husband, he's not a big, he's like, oh, it's two hours on set and I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. Sarah, I'm like, I could stay 20 hours on set. I right. love it. Right, so right. I can't pick a favorite day. I can pick a favorite part of the job okay. would be um, that I get to be, when I'm acting, I get to be a character. And the favorite part for me is when I actually 
look at a film, because I do watch my films. I know some actors don't, but I do. I mean, I'm production side. I can go right. from here to here. So for me is watching it and not even realizing it's you. You're like, oh, that's Shelley Lawson. So for right. me, I think that's, that's the part that I love, that you can play these different characters. And when I did the music videos, I was Sarah Schroeder, but it was very right. green. There's no line. So that's, that's me. I like it all. No, I love that. I love that. And I loved how you were able to just really, I, I would watch you watch yourself, and you weren't watching yourself. You were watching the character. It's fascinating. I love that when actors can do that, because I think it helps them to excel. Um, well, thank you, Rose. I, I think so, too. I mean, oh, I and it know. was funny. The directors were like, you're so good at, because I, I can critique. I don't care about that scene. Well, let's cut it. It, it doesn't matter if it's, because it, it's not me. It's Shelley Lawson. Right. Oh. All right. Here's from Kat at Arcos Management. Sending so much love to you both. Thank you, Kat. You're so sweet. I was on her live last week. Question for Sarah. What are some of the biggest challenges that you've come across with producing and acting? Hmm. Well, good question. That's a very good question. Um, producing, I would say finding quality projects. You know, I get a lot thrown at me. Right. Um, acting is just getting parts too. You know, you, it's hard to get roles. It's, it's just hard. It's a hard business. You're not, you know, you, it, it's just not everybody's going to say yes, like I said before. And then I don't really care if they say no, because then I just try to go on to something else. But producing for me, I would say that finding quality projects and then also making sure like a lot of times I'm bringing in investors and I want my investors paid back. So yeah. I need to, that I put them at the highest level. I'm not going to, and I also don't believe in OPM, which is Hollywood's best line, other people's money. Yeah. You never heard that? Oh, OPM is big. Yeah. You no, heard you're it. right. So, of course. and I don't believe in that either. I put, you know, if I'm going to do a project and I'm asking someone else to put money in, then I better be putting some money in myself. So that's, that's, that's what I'd say. That is, that is the truth. I guarantee you that. Thank you, Kat. Uh, let me see. I got more here. They keep coming in. It's fantastic. All right. Uh, dream project to work on for you. What's a dream project for you? I would love to play a role where I sang like Judy. I want to be a singer. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh That's my what God. I want. That would be okay. a dream role for me. Okay. Yep. Uh, my dream project, if you're asking me, Robin, is uh, to work with Steven Spielberg. It's just something about that guy that I just, anything he, he wants before I'm there. That is the one person, if I met him, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, yeah. I'm great at, you know, meeting my heroes, but that guy, I would be like, little, little, little. <laughs> Yeah, he's amazing, and he's on the he's on the trial for Chicago Seven. You know, his DreamWorks and Amblin. Yeah. Did you meet him? No, I have. Steve's met him several times, but I haven't met him oh. personally. Yeah, of course, yeah. Steve. Well, got now, to. I mean, I'm I'm only one person away from him, so you know, it's imminent. It's imminent. That's right. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, Robin. Let me see what else we got here. All right. I don't know if I'm doing these in order, so pardon me if I'm not. I'm sorry. Um, Delane, Del Dalen Cooksey. See, and I don't know what your names are because I just see your 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 uh, thing, your handle. So who knows? But hopefully, I said it right. Can you think about one of your previous productions and discuss what you would do differently to improve the quality of the production? Boy, these are some good questions, aren't They're they? They're very good. Uh, you could incriminate yourself on that one, though. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I could really answer that and stay right? in Hollywood. <laughs> I'm going to choose the fifth. Oh, my God. I've well, learned a lot. <laughs> Sorry. You've there. learned a lot. No, nope, that's, that's, that's reasonable. All right. Yeah. Picking the next one. <laughs> Oh, oh, Robin says she'll talk to Steven and we'll make it happen. I love Robin. She's a lovely gal. Hey, Robin, uh, I want to come along with Rose, please. That's it. 
I know you're you're closer. All right, so <laughs> Delane, I think you can answer this question for him. Delane Cooksey, what what do you look for in a script when deciding whether you would like to join a project as a producer? That's good. Try that. that is good. So what I look for is the first 10 pages. They need to grab me. And if they don't, I don't finish the script. So I like a fast intro. So <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, Not Alone has an amazing intro. And, yeah. when, and Steve and I feel the same. We need to be, you have to touch us in the first 10 pages. And if you don't, then it's too slow and it's not going to grab audiences. So we just yeah, usually no don't read them. So I also love stories that are based on a true story. I mean, I, I, they don't all have to be, but it, it, they tend to do better in, in, in general. But, you know, horror does good, too. But do, do they do better box office wise? True stories? Is that true? I didn't know that. I don't necessarily think box office wise. I think award wise they do for sure when it okay. comes to awards. But box office, it, you know, box office depends. It's, I've seen both. So that's my question for you. One from me. Uh, <laughs> do, do you look for something that's going to do well in the box office or something that's going to do well at the awards? Well, you try to do both. I mean, but, if you're going to be honest, you try to do both. Right. You know, I dissect it differently. I look at it. Okay. Do I like the script? Does the budget make sense? Who is going to watch this? Where you got to have an audience. You've got to have that demographic. So I look at that. I don't just do stuff based on awards because awards are like a, it's a crapshoot. I mean, you don't really know, but if you have a true story, you have a real, like Judy, true story. A lot right. of the true stories. Um, wasn't it Manchester by the Sea? Was that, was, am I saying that correctly? Yeah, you know, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It was a book based on a, a true story. I believe if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, I, I look at the whole project because I'm bringing sometimes the money in. I have to be very responsible, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah, no, I, I think that's, that's a good answer. All right. And let me get some more. You guys, you can still be putting questions in. <laughs> I still have plenty, so no worries. All right, Molly. <laughs> Molly is my, um, my mentee. She was my assistant for years and now she's a famous casting director in Toronto. Um, but her, I know. I love Congrats. Her. She's adorable. Molly says, what is the craziest thing you've seen in an audition or self tape? I mean, <laughs> I guess that's like to it. me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, everything. Uh, I think the funniest thing was when I gave the guy a stool and he, it just like collapsed under him. And I had that film. I, he let me post it. I asked him. <laughs> like that, just down. Was he okay? He was fine. Of course he was fine. I wouldn't have posted it if he wasn't fine. Everything was fine. He just kind of fell down. It was just the, it was, it was funny footage, I'm just going to say. And I guess it was, that's true. You wouldn't have posted it if he broke his tailbone. I wouldn't have. I really wouldn't have. <laughs> everything, good idea. everything turned out okay, but it was really quite funny. Quite funny. Um, you, you, have you seen anything that you want to wanna report here? I, the, I mean, it wasn't in a casting uh, or an audition, but uh, I was actually at the concert when Lady Gaga fell off the stage. Oh, were you and there? I, That's so crazy. I was there, and they had, like, the mosh pit, and then they had these seats. And we were in the first row, and it truly frightened me. Oh, I and bet it did. The thing that bothered me is, here these people are videoing her. I'm like, where? People need to make sure she's okay, and the guy that fell on top of her. So you okay. know what happened, right? So she was on the stage, and then he came up, and he's such a sweet guy loved him he's a big fan and then she just jumped on him just to like hug him and they lost their balance and fell off the stage and she was so amazing the way she handled it she got up she went right back on stage she she brought the kid back up there and said hey i mean he's not a kid he was a young adult and it and it said hey you know this was nobody's fault and she finished the concert so that was the for me that was one of the the oddest and most scary things because I was worried she was really hurt or, or right. he was. 
And then these people are videotaping. I'm like, what is, where, are your, where are your manners? I know. But well, I can't even. That's the this, price this to go world. with famous Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, no question. No question about that. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, what do you enjoy more, acting or producing? Hmm. Good question. Yeah. Acting. Okay. I could have guessed that. Yeah. I mean, you really. I, yeah. I enjoy boy. They're, they're very close. They're very yeah. close. But acting, I have a lot less responsibility. Um, right. And once I'm done shooting, I'm done and off to the next project. <laughs> I know, right? It's a so, different thing. Whereas producing, you just, you can't lose it. <laughs> no, it's, it goes on and on. But I, I do enjoy both. I mean, I would say 55, 45, so. Okay, let's see. I think we answered this. Are, what are some of the biggest challenges that you've come across with producing acting? Oh, no, wait, maybe we didn't answer that, did we? What, is, biggest, what are some of the biggest challenge? challenges? There was a similar question, but um, I'll answer again. The, getting the right, I said, getting right, the right script, the right project, having the right people involved, casting sometimes stuff too, Rose. I mean, you know, you put out offers after offers after offers. I've had scripts where we had funding and I couldn't get a cast because no one wanted to play. There was, it was kind of a horror crazy movie and the agent loved it, but nobody wanted to play the lead. We went out to huge actors. So we ended up not doing it. So, right. And we switched over the money to a, a different project, but and these, we had investors, so we just all switched over because we couldn't get a, a lead. So I would say getting the money is probably one of the hardest things. And then just getting talent to really act and show up and do their job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> oh, my God. This is showing up 90%. It's just ridiculous how we've, how we've ele elevated showing up as being – as a, a a point it's like yeah i'm sorry about that but it's so no, true but it's true it's true it's you're true. right oh my god yes yes you're you so guys, right honey. yeah oh my god so yeah you guys need to put more questions in if you want i think i answered all of them god only knows that bubble thing is confusing i'm gonna say but um yeah but it's also nice to have the interaction i like it i love the, the interaction and you're it's welcome she just said you're right welcome. yeah right? <laughs> yeah it's very interesting right i'm like yeah i have no idea what i'm doing but you know it seems to be working out but <laughs> you're doing awesome <laughs> oh my god i learned from cat cat was doing this the other day because that bubble thing is new but it separates the questions from the comments, right? So, yeah. like, you can kind of, you can see how I'm scrolling through the comments. They're so Right. What I'm so this? glad that you did this and not me, because I would have been, like, <laughs> screwed up and fiddling. And, yeah. Right. No, Good. no, no. This worked out. Hopefully we made the people, right choice. <laughs> right? Hopefully people aren't on your Instagram waiting for us to go live. I don't think so. I think it's okay. So. Yeah. Oh, Hope Daly says she needs to run, but thank you so much for answering my questions, and it's great to see such talented, empowered women in the industry. Aww, that's nice. That's, that's nice. nice, yeah. No, that's sweet. So are we going to – oh, here, let's talk about this. Are we going to have a little clubhouse party for the cast and crew of Not Alone to uh, celebrate Can? I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here on the live. I, I, we are live. I'm. I'm in. I mean, I, I would be. I in think let's sure do it. Yeah. Steve would be in. Um, if Megan's on, I'm sure she would be in. You know, if they're all. She available. is. She yeah. is. I follow her on Clubhouse. Richard's there. Pat's there. We just have to, you know, find a good time. I know everybody's busy, but yeah. um, yeah. I we think should we'll definitely do that. that. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be so fun. Would you yeah. guys? Put put it in the comments if you guys would would uh, come into Clubhouse and see that and and come in and ask us some questions about the filming or whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> It'll I would be love so that. fun. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do that before can, which is soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll be soon. So we'll do that in the next week or two, because next week will be a little little less less. Yeah. Oh, that. See, she says yes. 
Viva la la la, la rana. Oh, you wonder what these people's up names for sure. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Sammy and awesome. Sammy. These are two different Sammys are saying. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, I love that, right? And Robin says 100%, of course. Cool. Yeah, Robin. Robin's good. She's my, uh, Robin does my room. I do a headshot room on Thursdays. Everybody needs to come. I've got to start giving out light kits. Um, <laughs> there's always a promo with me. But, <laughs> but, but that's, um, a, that's a good perk. That's a great perk. It's a it's ring a light perk. with stands and, and backgrounds and everything you need for self-tape. I'm going to give some out. And I'm going to get some promo codes. But Robin takes care of my headshot room. She, she like resets it and does, you know, like I'm kind of busy and Kim's busy thinking about what we're looking at. And so Robin helps us. She's our MC resetter. I don't know. She's just, she's just wonderful. Oh, there's another question here. Multifaceted. Good job, Robin. I know. She's amazing. <laughs> okay. Sammy smiles with the interesting background. Says, what are you most grateful for now? knowing what you know i like that question go ahead oh that's a, a really could be answered in a are you talking just in is he talking just in the movie industry or is he talking in general in life you know there's no follow-up questions okay. here so um oh yeah <laughs> actually i don't know that see this is how i don't know this i mean he could do a follow-up question but it's difficult <laughs> okay um what am i most grateful for it, well, I'm grateful with movie for, industry. Okay, but I'm grateful for everything because right. I think that that's what you should be. But I'm grateful for the people that I've been blessed, including Rose, to work with. Um, I've met some really, really great people. So I'm grateful for the friendships I have. I'm grateful for the legends I've had to, the, the ability to get to work with or the luck, whatever you want to call it. So. I'm just grateful in general that I've come this far in this business. It's, it's hard. This is not a, this is not an industry for people that are too, they have to have thick skin. You have to be tough. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't mean that in a, in a derar, I don't mean that in a degrading way. I just think you have to just be able to take, like I said, a lot of no's and a lot of rejection. So right. if you love this business, keep going guys. I mean, just keep going. You'll make it. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I couldn't agree more. Um, I could not agree more. I think that is, I, I would say the same thing. I would say exactly the same thing. I mean, I love the people I work. I mean, everything you said, I don't know. I don't know if I could say it any better, but we're Travis, yes, we're <laughs> literally, I have to tell you guys, we would talk every day. Sarah would be in Los Angeles. I would be in Florida. And we'd talk every day at noon with a cup of coffee and talk about who we're putting an offer out to today. <laughs> oh, my I God. Mean, it's, wasn't that crazy? But it's so yeah. complicated and so true. And, and you know, and it, it's just not easy. Uh, there are a lot of factors that made it more difficult to cast this. Patience. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with Haitians. It was just hard to find people that could authentically speak that language. And, and I don't think it's the Haitian language. And I am sorry for not knowing what that language is called, right? Do you remember? It's called something. It's Haitian. Creole. I think it's Creole. Speak. Is it? Was it Creole? I think, I think it's Creole. I could be wrong, but I, I believe it was. I don't know. There, there's I, a couple different dialects, to be honest. But right. I think Creole right. was one of them. Yeah. It was complicated. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, you know, some scenes with chickens. Oh, Jess. Yeah, someone Jess said Creole. Says Creole. All right. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, that was the hardest for me. Aside, you know, aside, Creole is the main one, right? Yeah. So, and I think we had translators translating the, the dialogue, right? Remember that? Yes. And then yes. I think our actors actually acted as Michelle. translators. Michelle right? had a, a, she had a background in, she actually had a background with Haitian descent. So she was yes. amazing. Yes. She, she, she was, was brilliant. Crazy. I mean, I, I loved woman her. woman with a dead chicken. It was quite oh, yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Watch for her in the beginning, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you, that movie is scary good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope that everybody enjoys the Oscars as much as you are going to, but nobody's going to be able to enjoy it that much. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> but, yeah, I am rooting for Chicago 7. A aside from you, I just love that movie. I loved it. And and our our, our tale of Not Alone continues. And you know, and I am on the journey with you and it's so exciting. We'll do our clubhouse party. We're celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. Tell the people who are watching when you're going to, are you doing some more interviews that people can see? I'm doing one at, oh, I, I should know better. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's I'm, okay. It's okay. I know. Will I'm it be on your Instagram? Show. Yes, it'll be on my Instagram and YouTube. The problem is I've been getting different invites from so a lot of people right now, especially because of the, the Oscars coming up. So I've got like a lot of invites and then we haven't decided, okay, are we finalizing this? I know I'm doing a show on eight o'clock. I'll put it on my Instagram, uh, but it's a radio show only. It's not a live, but it, it but it's, it's a 55 million listeners and I should know the name. So you put me on the spot, which is okay. I will. I didn't I will, put you on the spot. Okay. I, I will put it in my stories. And then Thursday, I've been asked to do something, but then they keep changing the date, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I, I was on John Lott Jr., um, so and it's on YouTube, and I've, I've, I've been getting a lot of interest, so that's good. I, I that's like great. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you spending the time with me and Kim and spending time with me today. I mean, any well, I love you. I know. I mean, you know, listen, this is really, literally, you're just watching a phone call between me and Sarah. <laughs> Exactly. We're having coffee, but we're having wine. <laughs> I know. We're just here with you guys, but we're just really just having coffee. Hence the name. Or no, it's it's wine. We we got to move on to the. We'll have wine. You know. Yeah. Why, why are we That's doing so coffee? Good. I don't even understand that. But exactly. anyway, I am gonna call it a night. It was lovely, lovely, lovely to see you, and thank you, and best of luck on all of it. I can't wait to to hear that that we won can. <laughs> I know. Fingers I know. crossed. I know. A lot of things music. coming at us. So I know. I know. It's it's just pinch yourself and enjoy the ride. And let me let me tell you something that somebody told me during these kinds of times. Don't forget to stop and enjoy it, and take it in and breathe it in. And don't be so involved in the situation that you're that you're not enjoying it. Please. No, that's, that's good advice. Well, I must be enjoying it because I couldn't even remember who I'm going on with. <laughs> so I, I am enjoying oh it. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. Advice. Yeah, absolutely. It's just like, you know, when your it's kids get married or whatever, you, you know, the bar mitzvah, you just have to stop and you have to yeah. really take it in and, and, and look around you and enjoy, you know, breathe it in and, and, and enjoy your time and toast yourself because, you know, we're all toasting you. So make sure you also toast yourself. So sweet. Well, I'm toasting mm. to you, Rose. And thank you, all of you, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Sarah, here's to, here's to you. And all, all of the good things, all good things uh -huh. come to you. And I will thank see you, you soon. Me. Thank we'll, you. Oh, we'll wait, talk soon. drink, drink, or it's bad luck. Exactly. I was getting ready. <laughs> thank you both for all the wonderful advice and good luck with everything. That's from Lisa Goodman. Anyway, thank you, Lisa. That's so fun. Sammy Potta says huge congrats. And Jesse from the block says thank you, ladies. And Sammy says thank you. So, and and more wine is coming at you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank I will you guys. See you soon. And we'll see you in Clubhouse for our party. Yeah, I can't wait. That'll be fun. In a, in a week care. or two. <laughs> okay, yeah. bye, love. No, exactly. Now, if I only knew how to end this. <laughs> yeah, how do I end this? I guess I'll hit the X. <laughs> yep. Bye, honey. Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah.